what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today i kind of got a huge one for you guys so if you haven't seen it already then i guess now you know the small and large oil rig are now in the game for rust console edition it's only in the testing branch though it is not in the live branch yet they said it is rumored to come out at the start of 2022 sometime so for all the people playing on the live branch you should be getting that soon but for everyone wanting to test it out on the testing branch i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it if you didn't know already it is essentially the same exact way as you do it on pc but i just wanted to go ahead and give you an updated guide just so there's no speculation if it is different from pc or if there's anything else that you can do in console but anyways, in this video that I show right here, I was in the build servers and in the build servers, you can go drive a boat over to the oil rig. And when you get there, the scientists are spawned in and everything. But when they shoot you, they don't do damage to you. But as they hit you with their bullets, it kills them. So that's how I was able to see all their loot and be able to go through the oil rig without dying. So if you just want to run oil rig and just test it out before you do it in the real game, I'd advise you go to the build server so you can kind of give it a try and see how it is. But anyways, hopping into this, for small and large oil rig, you will need a green card, a blue card, a red card, and one fuse. You don't have to have all of those to run it, but that is how you get the most loot out of it. So what you want to do when you first pull up is pull up in a boat kind of far away so the scientists can't shoot you. You want to snipe to the best of your ability all the scientists that are there at the docking stations so when you pull up on the boat they will not just laser you off the start and kill you i would just try to clear out the ones that will be able to see you as you pull up and you can do this by just tap firing a gun you could use a comp bow and fully charge it up and kill him that way i know it takes a little longer but that is a possibility but you just want to try to get as many headshots as possible the scientists will drop you ammo for when you kill them you'll be able to replenish some ammo but they don't drop you that much, so try to conserve your ammo as much as possible because there is a ton of scientists, especially if you go to a large oil rig. There is going to be a lot of scientists. And in this video, I'm going to be showing how to do the large oil rig, but the small oil rig is the exact same thing. The only difference between the two is that there's more scientists on the large, and I think there's more loot on the large as well. But anyways, after you kill the scientist, you pull up to the docking station, you go up the stairs, and you want to wipe out every scientist you see just go ahead and kill all of them loot them all and then once you kill them all that is when you can finally go and start running the key card rooms the puzzle rooms you can do it in any order essentially but i'm just going to show you how i went through it in the video i didn't have a green card because like i said i was in the build servers but i was able to go buy a blue card from outpost so i went ahead and ran the blue card room for you guys to show you that but you don't need a fuse for any of the card rooms so as long as you got the cards, you're chilling on those. So go ahead and just swipe your green card on this building right here. You will go in the room and get all the loot and then you just exit out. There's nothing special to the green card room. It's just the average green card loot room. And then you will go over to the blue loot room and this one I actually show you how to how to run it. So go ahead and watch this clip right here. So again, it's just a simple blue loot room. It's like any other one. There's nothing special to it. No extra hidden loot or anything. So for the red card room, you just go and swipe your red card in this building right here. You will go inside and there's all the good crates, all the military crates and everything. And then as well as the military crates, there is a room in the back where there is going to be a lock crate like you see that drops from Chinook at Airfield. If you're going to activate this, you want to make sure that you have good gear like I'm talking full metal kit or road sign and you have good guns with plenty of ammo because when you activate this lock crate it calls in the heavy reinforcements the heavy scientist and these heavy scientists are no jokes they run like m2s they take a ton of bullets to kill and you have to be insanely accurate otherwise they will shred you like i'm not even joking they they kill people very quick and then for us console players i know a lot of people aren't very accurate so you just got to make sure you're hitting your bullets on these people but anyways, after you activate that crate, it's got a timer of 15 minutes, just like the normal lock crate does at airfield. So as that timer's counting down, the heavy scientists will come flying in from a Chinook and land on the helipad. And you just want to wipe them out as soon as possible. 
The only tips I could really give you for wiping them out is try to sit at the bottom of a staircase and wait for them to come down and shoot them as they're coming down. Or find a head glitch. I know there's a little part of the crane somewhere where you can head glitch on. I would just mainly advise trying to head glitch on anything you can find in like the corner of the oil rig. But after you kill all the heavy scientists and the timers up on the lock crate, you can get all the loot. And all the lock crate loot gives you pretty much the same stuff that the airfield lock crate gives you. You can get a chance at C4, AKs, full metal kits, armored doors, explosives, all that stuff. And looting the heavy scientist also gives you a lot of good loot as well. You can get stems and ammo just like you can with the normal scientist, but I think you can get some higher tier stuff as well. Sadly, in this gameplay that I got in this build server, I did not have a red card, so I couldn't call in the heavy scientist. Um, you guys are probably still wondering why I said you need a fuse, but none of the key card rooms require a fuse. And that's because of this room right here. All you have to do is put a fuse in this fuse box in the back of the room. And then you go and press the button beside the door and you go in there and there's some extra loot for you guys. It's just like another secret puzzle, kinda. And then on top of that, there is even more loot you can get as well. If you see these vents right here on the map, you can go through there and I think I actually have gameplay of me going through a vent and it brings you to like a little secret area. And there's possibilities of crates to spawn in these secret areas through the vents. So make sure you just go and check through the vents. I don't have a fully detailed route that shows you where the all the crate spawns are in the vents. But as I start running oil rig more, I will go ahead and upload a detailed route of where all the spawns are for you guys. So after you've ran everything, killed all the scientists, and hopefully survived any counters that you end up getting, you want to hurry up and take all of that good loot that you got and dip out of oil rigs. You can leave by the way that you came, which could be by boat or by oxygen tank underwater. It's up to you. Yeah, you can just kind of jump over the edge of the railing and dip into the water and get out of there as soon as you can. But if any of you guys are going to run oil rig, especially in this first month that it comes out on the live servers and even the testing branch right now, I'm just going to advise that you do it with a team. I would go with at least like a trio if you can because oil rig is popping right now. Like you should see all the queues and everything of these servers because people are wanting to see oil rig. So I can almost guarantee you anytime you want to run oil rig, there's probably going to be someone there or you're going to end up getting countered while you're running it. So I would highly advise that you have some people with you if you do it. If you're a solo, I'm going to warn you now, it is going to be almost impossible to run it probably. But hey, you can still take your chances. I would definitely go a small oil rig though if you're a smaller group or a solo. Large oil rig is going to have all the big groups in it. But anyways, that's going to be it for this guide. I hope you guys found this useful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And go ahead and comment down below if you think I should try to do a compound bow only take on oil rig when it comes to live servers with my team. Oh, and also, by the way, I almost forgot. Oil rig does not have any radiation, so you could go in there completely naked if you want. But I would not advise it because these scientists will mess you up. So like I said before, I really think you should have a road sign kit if you want to go at least. But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.